Yeah, it's going to take me several turns to take the drone ship out of its shields, so it'll make it hard for me to... It's going to be two-on-one for a while. Well, I think I think this mission has the advantage on the Romulan side. The other missions definitely had a lot more favor on the Federation side. So Oh, yeah, I would totally bring a uh, Borgified Voyager and hit you with eight dice and kill you in one go. Because um, <laughs> it would be hard. It would be hard for you to survive an eight dice blast from a from a Voyager with the uh, Borg, whatever that thing is. Um, ocular implant. No, not ocular implant. The one that gives you one extra die for every mission token that's on it. Take no one. Uh, technological distinctiveness, that one. Anyway, I think you've got a good chance on period specific, so... I am, and I locked the planet so we can't accidentally move it now. Okay. I'm going to bank three. Notice that you're really far out of range. And then I, I will bank one. Can you do that again? Yeah, I think a bank one will still keep me out of your arc <laughs> or out of range. So I think I will forest and try to get just a skosh closer. Maybe I'll do a one straight instead. Just a I think that keeps you out of range this turn. And then I will take, uh, I will take commander. Just to um, oh, I'm you're right. I'm not. I'm forced. Yeah, not this turn. I'm not doubling down. I was looking at that. Shoot. The forward firing arc, so I know if I'm going to be shot at or not by your special talent.
Well, there we go. Now, now my mic has decided to work. I had a setting that failed me. Okay, well. Tony, you plan, you let me know, and uh, I'll do my initial setup while we're here in the midst of the mission. Uh, destabilize the sector. Welcome. And uh, Romulans with a drone ship and... Uh, a nice little neutral ship. Welcome to the Zindi Aquatic Cruiser as a neutral ship. Uh, ultimate end goal is uh, for the Romulan to destroy the Federation or the Federation to destroy the Romulan and whoever controls the neutral ship uh, to... Uh, that's fine. If you don't control the neutral ship, you got to destroy it. So, uh, yeah, set up... Build costs were uh, uh, were interesting. Fifty points for Fed, forty for the Romulan drones, thirty for the neutral ship, and uh, and then uh, if the Romulan drone ships has no shields at the start of the planning phase, then the Federation player can attempt to take over control of the neutral ship. That's uh, that's what we're operating under here, and uh, you got us here at the start of round two. So, Tony, you good? You ready? I'm ready. Okay, the Zindi doing a one straight. They will. Uh, I think they'll evade, but let's. You know what? They are going to be ambitious. They're going to target lock. Enterprise. Okay. I'm going to do that. I think this is a good turn to activate Legacy of the Name. Okay. Uh, since and then you've I'm... moved... Sorry? Uh, since you moved into my arc, I'm going to discard Intercept. So oh. you, you do get defense dice. But I'm going to. Just... It's not letting me toggle the buttons, so I just need to put three time tokens on there. Yeah. So I just immediately get to. Oh roll man. Roll three dice. How oh, did it fail? Okay. I have an act. That, do you do that? Yeah. Before it, I take an act. Yeah. Intercept is immediately uh, if an opposing ship's. Ends its move within your forward firing arc before that ship performs its action. Discard this card to immediately perform an attack with three attack dice against that ship. The defending ship may still roll defense dice against this attack, but the attack dice cannot be modified in any way. So it's kind of like cloaked mines, except you also get defense dice. So uh, that yeah. says it's a five, and five is a battle station. So you have one crit. Against you. Okay. And nicely evaded. Okay. Sweet. Cool. Oh. I just deleted the Enterprise. Well, that's not Give good. Me a second. Don't worry. I'll rebuild it. Uh, do I win the mission by default? <laughs> that's fair. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good don't worry life happens um, i'm trying to build my fleet again but it's not building is that a a glitch uh i don't know let's well let me let me f7 and then paste it and then build it again and see if it pops yeah, up. yeah that's probably the easiest way there it goes all right, so all I need is the ship. So let me grab these and throw them away. Grab this. Uh, and grab I'm... the dial as well. I was right next to that target lock, and I was facing the other way. Yeah. Is that pretty close to where he was? Probably. I think you're good. 
And then you so I'll delete it. this dial? Yeah. I got it. So okay. then that's the dial you need. Okay. All right, so we're back. I'm sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> you're good. Okay, so now you get to do actions. Yeah, so I'm going to... Um, I'm in a commander and I'm in a, uh, science officer. Okay. So. Uh, one of, uh, yeah, basically one of everything except scans. Well, uh, and actually, I was thinking this would be a great turn to also scan cycle. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So I was with Legacy the Name to do all of that. And I think you are currently at range three. So we'll see how it goes. Well, I have just moved. Okay. Oh, that was... And now, now you're I'm at range, range two. two. Uh, and I will... I will, uh, I will target lock you. I think that's how we're going to do that. And uh, that puts us into combat. Okay. So you shoot first. I do shoot first. I'm just uh, double checking everything here. Yeah. Okay. Well, my shot's obvious. Hmm, am I okay with that? Nah, I'll spin the target lock. No, yeah, should have been okay with it. All right, hit crit. Okay. I will roll my three defense dice. Oh, shoot, I have to say if I'm using the enhanced... Yes. Oh, first. Okay. I guess I already started rolling. I might as well just go with it. That's Ooh. unfortunate. Okay. I do have an evade. Yes. So I will cancel one of those, and then I'll take the crit, I guess. Direct hit. I will take two hits. Awesome. I'm nearly dead. This will be a very short game. Maybe. Okay, uh, your shot. Well, I'm going to shoot at you with dorsal phaser array so I can throw three dice. And then I'm triple scanning you. And I have a battle stations. Darn, I just missed that. Okay, you're good. Okay. Uh, I will uh, use disguise protocol so you roll uh, three or uh, two less dice. Yeah, I kind of figured that was happening. So, I'm not getting rid of your shields this turn. Or ever, because you're going to grow this one back. Crit. Okay. Uh, oh, that's yuck. Then the Zindi Aquatic will roll four dice. <laughs> okay. I'm taking auxiliary powers, I'm thinking. Well, you know, wait and see what I roll. <laughs> uh, I'll spend my target lock save those two hits and re-roll those uh, three total hits yeah I'm dead if I don't roll at least one and take two auxiliary powers so okay. I will first take two auxiliary powers Okay, I'll just move those two hits off to the side. Okay. And then I will roll three defense dice, and if I don't get at least one, the game's over. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. You are okay. You live to fight another round. Yeah, I don't get to do anything for two rounds, but, you know. All right, I will uh, repair my shield, take off a time token. I'm assuming you'll also tick off a time token. I think it's a mandatory effect, so. Uh, Yeah. Okay. 
crap. Okay, I just need to figure this out quick. No, you're good. You're good. Um, I have noticed my drone ship has decided to fly, so uh, I'm going to pause the recording real quick and fix it. Okay, and we're back. Uh, so, Zindi does a one bank, and they'll, uh, they're going to re-target lock you. All right. I'm hoping this clears. It did. Um, that is not a green maneuver, so I will be taking no action. Okay. Yeah, that definitely did clear. Um, okay. And then the drone ship did a three come up. Okay. And they will uh, target lock. Uh, which I believe puts it at your, or sorry, my fire, my fire first. Yep. Um, so I clip you at range one. So we'll roll four dice. Um, yeah, I'll keep the target lock. Were you using enhanced toll plating? Uh, it's the only way to survive. Yeah, I figured but... with three hits you were going to. Yeah. So there's two more and two evades. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then you have a shot. Yeah. Um, and you can't cancel my dice this turn. Uh, correct. So I'm going to throw three at you. With no quality and no scans. So, you know, awesome. Yeah. Wow. Just three hits. I could real use that aquatic on my team. I did evade well, one. So I lose two So shields. net value of one shield damage. Because yes. you're going to heal one. Because then it's in phase, so I heal a shield... We'll take a time token. And when does that happen? In the end phase or the beginning of the next? Yeah, so round? during the end phase is oh, when I take a, take a time token off. All right. Uh, the Zindi Aquatic is doing a one bank to the right. Okay. So the, the Aquatic moved. Um, they'll... Uh, they'll take an evade just to complete the action. Uh, then, yeah, you're up with the Enterprise. Oh, uh, I think I did a one bank. That's fine. I... So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set it, and then I'll move all of these tokens. Here, I got them. And then I'll move. And that removes one auxiliary, and I'll throw this one away because it's got weird stuff on it. Okay. Um... It's all good. Um, yeah. Okay. And the prototype one banked that away. They'll take a scan action. And then we'll uh, go to combat. Oh, okay. When do I activate this? Oh. Uh, During the activation phase. Oh, I have to perform an action before I can drop a scan. So I can't use it. Is that what it is? Oh, it says a free action. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It says during the activation phase, when a ship in your fleet performs an action from its action bar, you can take a token off this card and put it next to your ship as a free action. So, yeah, I can't do it. Okay. Well, then I'm going to roll three dice. Uh, I got two... You know what? I'll I'll take the target lock. Okay, three. I'm assuming you're using um, enhanced hull. I feel like I have to. I so two more evades. 
Nope. I threw him somewhere. Oh. Okay, but I'm I'm dead anyway. That's one, two, three. I dodged two of them with enhanced hull plating, but yeah. the third one got through and killed me. That that die wanted to roll. It was rocking, but it didn't. Uh, didn't well, rock enough. Good game, David. You okay. have built a superior build for sure. That was incredible. That I I don't feel good about that one, but that's I yeah. You were up against it from the get go. That's a uh, yeah. Period specific on this one. I just don't think there's a winning solution. I Not, no, I don't think so. I think you need there, two two ships probably would give you at least a chance. Yeah. But okay, even the way it's worded, the only time you have a chance to roll for control of the ship is at the start of each planning phase. I put a shield back during the end phase. If you strip my shields, I get a shield back. You have to destroy the prototype 01 in order to do this. And then I have a chance to convert the other ship or I just destroy it. Right. But even at that point, I guess you've won. Yeah, I guess you do have to, you either have to convert the neutral ship to your side, at which point you're rolling three dice every time because I've suffered three whole damage, or you're uh, trying to destroy the neutral ship. I think it would be six dice because you get three dice just to do it, and you get plus one for oh, every whole damage on You're right. Yeah. Okay. It's, yeah. See, so with six dice. To try to get two hits, yeah. I mean, that should happen. And if not, yeah. I'm sure you've got some upgrades at that point you can discard to try to make a reroll happen. But Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Well, is is Archer a discard to get extra dice, or is he a... Yeah, he's an action he's a uh, disable. Disable for extra dice. I probably should have done that a couple of times because I could have increased my captain skill and shot first. And I could have uh, thrown two extra dice on that dorsal shot that I actually did some damage. Yeah, when you had the scans. Um, no, on the second turn um, when I had all the auxiliary powers, but I could have thrown oh. more dice. But then you didn't have the action to do Archer. Yeah. That's oh, the shoot. downside. Yeah, that's yeah. true. But I had to double action anyway, scan and, uh, or, you know, double scan and um, commander. Mm -hmm. and, and that means that turn when I did that, I cheated anyway, because scan cycle says it has to be an action on your action bar. And neither one of the two actions I took were action bar actions. Nah. So. I, I don't mind that. Anyway. Even if it had gone against me, I still wouldn't have minded that. I was like, eh. Oh, I should have added one hit to you when I Yes. When I scored that one hit on that first round. You also should have used to Paul uh yeah. to make me roll uh two less to, it wouldn't have mattered. Sorry, you should have used Oh, you've taken off Hoshi. Okay. I traded Hoshi for the commander. Cuz I, I thought battle stations would be handy. How expensive is Hoshi? She's only three. I, so think, can, can I think Hoshi helps you more than Trip in this kind of build. Because you can disable Hoshi to make me roll one less attack die. And now she is a disable, but she doesn't have the condition. And you got to figure that one less attack die is not entirely the same as damage, but it's also guaranteed damage you're not taking. So, I don't know. I, when you're built for scanning, I think Hoshi might have been better than Trip. That's fair. But and Worf it. is better than Hoshi. <laughs> what? He cancels too. 
<laughs> I said Worf is better than Hoshi. He cancels two for a disable. Yes. And you um, don't need the scan token. Yeah. Jed Z anyway. and Dax. I, I don't know. The Romulans had some fun cards. I like Intercept. Um, that that was a dirty trick, but I I appreciate that it didn't actually do anything to me. It didn't do anything, <laughs> but like for a five point discard, just three raw dice at you. Yeah, and you I get was a little dice. intimidated by that, but it didn't add up to anything. Yeah, but and then the close minds was another. I don't know. This was this was definitely difficult for the NX01 to even have a chance. I don't think it can win. No, and, and even the way I, I had things set up, I wanted to fly the aquatic closer, and Colo was just going to intercept every shot you took. You were going to have to choose through the aquatic before you destroyed my drone ship. Yeah, that would have been yucky too. And and that aquatic has 10 durability with uh, Trellium D on it. So, yeah, I and I, yes, you could probably actually destroy it, but the time you would spend would probably be enough for uh, either for me to get through you uh, or for us to just be at the point where it's like, okay, it's a draw. Neither of us can actually destroy the other. So. But yeah, that's uh, well played, David. Good yeah, game. I mean, yeah, Tony, you 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 played it about as well as you could. That's uh, that's that's these missions. Sometimes I feel like they're they're set up to have a clear winning and losing side. Yeah. But, well, but thank you, thank you for going through the the mission. We've uh, we've got a fun one next week. We got. Uh, well, I'll give you a sneak peek. It's. Uh, this is from the uh, the Avenger Rebel Attack, so this will be a an interesting uh, build and uh, interesting game for everybody to see. So, uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Till next time, keep brushing up your game. Take care. <laughs>